confirmed. Satcom ready. Friendly Satcom active. We've lost the lead. Kill confirmed. We're in the lead! IMS at your disposal. Confirmed. Behind ready for deployment. Kill confirmed. Kill confirmed. Friendly hind incoming. SATCOM up link enabled. SATCOM ready. Kill confirmed. SATCOM active. Kill confirmed. IMS ready for deployment. Kill confirmed. Enemy SATCOM spotted. And that, my friends, is the VEPR, the Veeper, whatever you want to call it. And if you want to see some more gameplay of that, just hit me up in the comment section below and just let me know if you guys want to see that type of gameplay or just that, you know, play style where it's just like running around like crazy. I like to run marathon and lightweight just for the simple fact that it just makes the game a little bit more exciting so it just looks like i'm just hauling ass everywhere i go well it doesn't really look like it i am hauling ass everywhere i go and i've pretty much come accustomed to that and if you didn't know this is call of duty ghost and this is your boy fresh and i'll be your commentator for the day <laughs> but you know i have been playing ghosts so much yes i know that i talked about it in my last commentary but you know if i haven't gotten back to you in the messages or if you know you had a request for a thumbnail or, or whatnot and i haven't got back to you yet yo i apologize for that i have been on the game constantly non-stop grinding man it, it has been much love and i am just in awe of the game of how it runs you know even though the maps are kind of huge I, I really don't care because I, I think that with the maps being huge like this they had to put in unlimited sprint I mean come on think about it they just had to and I'm hoping that a lot of the players play styles will change up as soon as they you know start to learn the maps and start to run around a little bit you know everybody's kind of scared still it's just bound to happen the same thing happened with black ops 2 they, they were just really scared and everybody stayed put until they figured everything out you know you just got to give everybody you know their own a lot of time to just figure things out on their own and that's just just that's just how shit goes you know but still using the arx and i've been using the veeper i've been using attack 12 and that shotgun is pretty beast i tried it with the silencer yo don't ever try that fucking shotgun with the silencer it is just straight butt cheeks straight ass <laughs> but hey you gotta try out different stuff to know whether it's ass or not so 
that's just how that's just how that goes you know but you know it's just my whole experience with ghosts has it, been really good and i'm starting to get used to the the ttk or time to kill as a lot of people will call it and it has accustomed me to just react a little bit more faster now as far as like kill streaks like i'm still kind of clueless as far as kill streaks go but yeah i'm pretty sure i'll get to it now watch this come on man i got a headset dude don't don't try don't try me like that bruh bruh don't don't even do that you knifed me once man i'm not letting it happen again or maybe i don't know we'll see in the end of this video if that happens again or not <laughs> but you know this map is is pretty cool uh the other maps you know I, i'm still kind of getting used to i i know that i hate whiteout and i know that i need to go balls deep when i go on flooded because the revenge spawn is just crazy it, it, it's just insane how the revenge spawn just just takes control of everything you kill a guy you run in one direction if you kill that guy and you're going forward just turn around and, and go the opposite direction because he's gonna come right behind you so you know just just do that and, and everything could be all good but you know I, I i wanted to show love to all, all my viewers and all the people that watch my videos and stuff man hey yo thank you guys for stopping by to my page and just showing a brother love man i'm trying to get better for you guys trying to get better for myself i'm trying all in all just to enjoy myself because i think you know enjoying yourself is something that is a must in order to be successful in anything that you do any endeavor or just any situation you know if you're not really having fun then you have that just downed mentality where you you just are in a rut you're stuck you can't really be happy and enjoy yourself as you would if you know you just weren't a negative person or you know just a jerk in general you know so you know i think that has been happening to me a lot you know lately you know especially with me and my girl and stuff because you know a lot of people don't know i take care of my sick grandma she she has a, a mental disability she had a stroke and she uh got some stuff called dementia and, and it's all bad news you know it, it, yeah it's all bad news so you know i'm home most of the time taking care of my grandma and you know what I, i'm so attached to her and it is just one of those things where you know you know you worry about your grandma a lot you know especially if when you get older you know and this is bound to happen to 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 all of us man you know our parents you know they're not going to be young forever so you, you just have to take that into consideration now i shoot at these guys right i drop down and then i get a headshot you know I, i'm i'm clueless hit me up in the comment section yet again let me know what you think what happened i don't know just, just hit a nigga up yes i said the n word but i can say that but hit me up let me know what you think happened so you know but it, it, that is one of my major responsibilities at home you know especially just you know just being at home taking care of my grandmother and you know it, it's kind of on the level of like hospice care so you know if you guys didn't know you know what i do like you know a lot of my close people my usual suspects they they know what's up they know what i do you know sometimes like i'll be talking to like la and i'll be like yo i gotta go he'd be like where are you going i'll be like man <laughs> i got a life in my hands he's like okay i feel you you know matt he already knows man he's like man he's like man i love your grandma <laughs> it's like you know and, and that's love right there you know what i'm saying you know and this hobby has alleviated a lot of stress but you know one of the things that I, I really need to do is i need to get the hell out of the house you know so i need to start going out more because i mean like i left last night and when i came back home man it was just like a, a weight just lifted off my chest it, it, it felt really good to to get out and just you know <laughs> just just breathe you know because it, it, it could be tense sometimes 
you know, in my house, it's, especially when, you know, you're taking care of somebody, you know, who can't walk and, you know, can't fend for themselves. And, you know, you, you think about that. And especially, you know, my grandmother uh, took care of me when I was younger and, you know, she was always there for me. You know, uh, she, I, I was born and raised in this house and, you know, my grandmother, she, she did everything she could for me. You know, I'm, I'm a grandma's boy. But what can I say? You know, you, at the end of the day, when everything is all said and done, you want your kids to take care of you when you get old. You know, you know if it ever happens to my mom, look, yeah, there you go. My boy got me. But, you know, when you get old, you want your kids to take care, care of you. Like, when, if, if, you know, God forbid, if anything happened to, to my mom, you know, I'm definitely going to be right there to to take care of her you know because that's what family does you don't want to be the type of person who doesn't take care of their family you know if you're in that type of family situation i know a lot of people they don't have that that family that family system or you know that that love that you know you get from a family but you know like i said in you know commentaries before hey you know, friends become family also. So yeah, you know, take that into consideration too. So yeah, but you know, I'm I'm glad to be on Ghost. I've been just cracked out on Ghost for the longest, and you know, I, I think my commentaries are getting a little bit better. I don't know. Yet again, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. So uh, you know, as that Final Fantasy type beat kicks in at the end of the video, but Yo, it's been fun just sitting here chatting with you guys. This your boy Fresh, and I'm going to let this video ride out with the kill cam. And I'm out, man. Peace.